welcome back. Um, hope you guys had a good week and uh, I hope you guys are being kind and being safe and all that good stuff. Uh, but most important, be kind to your brother and sister unless they step on your foot or something. You know? I wanted to talk to you this week about uh, one of the pieces that I use in my live uh, solo gigging. And, uh, but to just kind of kick it back from what I uh, told you about last week on my Beat Buddy, um, they, like I said, they just, they're, they're such a game changer and it's such a great, uh, you can use different kinds of drums and different beats and it's just so loaded. It's, it's crazy. I did mention last week that I don't use it as a foot pedal or a stomp box, whatever. I actually do, but I don't know if I had told you last week. Oh, but um, so I, I use the main bass unit of the Beat Buddy on the table next to my my board, and um, then I use this goes at the bottom. This comes with the Beat Buddy. It's optional. You know, you have to pay for it separately. But this guy here is a two switch, and this one I think is coded. I have it programmed where this is a cymbal crash. Just anytime you hit a symbol and it's uh, and then this is on and off so and that's what I hit that's the only thing I hit um, is the on and off switch really you know so when you're doing a song or whatever you end or you cut you know so basically you end on the four or uh, start on the one whatever but that that that's perfect right there so and then I keep the main bass unit up next to my board and that's where I change the drums change the tempo and do all that I do it very quickly yeah it can be done it's kind of a cheesy way to use that thing but it works and you know it's only a few seconds in between songs so I'm not you're not waiting like you know of oh, 60 seconds or whatever and people you know because you kind of want to get your songs moving along and you know you don't have to do it right one right after the other but you you know we'll get into that another time but anyways you just want to keep them keep them going so that's what I use for my stomp pedal for the drums on the Beat Buddy. This is on the ground and then the main unit, this guy right here, is up on my board so I can adjust and do all the stuff on there. So anyway, uh, <clears throat> another thing I want to share with you guys is, uh, is this guy right here. This is the, this is the uh, beast right here. Um, it is the TC Helicon Play Acoustic. and I had the big one for a while. Um, what was that thing? I forgot what it's called, but it's the extreme, and it was like eight hundred dollars. And I'm like, I mean, it's just amazing. It's so loaded. It's stupid, but I didn't really need that. The, I, I noticed that I would probably would have had used that more for my uh, singles. You know, for my recording studio, my little recording studio here that I record and I release singles on. So I do that as well. So. I release singles. Am I making money at it? No, but I still love to do it, and I still get it out there. And um, and uh, but it's it seems as time goes on, people are noticing my style of music. I, my stuff, I, I my original music is kind of oh God, I don't know Americana. I just released a single called "All You All You Do Is Complain." It's got a it's got a country kick to it, but it's kind of folk rock country. I don't know what you call it. I you know I I get so lost in the different genres these days. But anyway, so this is the beast we're going to talk about, and this thing is um, this was the main game chamber chamber. Uh, ch actually, I had the other one that was just the voice uh, TC and. So I had a couple of their products that I used over time, and then they came out with this thing. And one thing I like about this, not only does it have the vocals, uh, vocal effects, you know, TC, uh, uh, Hel TC Helicon is just, they're known for that. They, they build their effects in some of these major uh, 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 Tascam and big, big boards. They use their effects in there. But anyway, so these guys... Um, so I, I, they came out with this thing a few years back, quite a while ago, and it might have been out a year, and I didn't notice because I was kind of dealing with the one single foot pedal that they came out with, and I was experimenting with that. So, because it's a weird thing, when you do, you know, because of this thing, it, it puts a cherry on the cake of what you're, what you're playing, basically. 
um, gives you backup vocals, two part harmonies or three part. And uh, you can go above or below. It's just amazing. Uh, you can actually do, I think, a fifth or a, no, no, I don't know if it has a seventh. But anyway, so this take gives it a whole new thing. You don't even have to have that beat buddy if you don't want to. I mean, uh, I just do because I just, you know, I'm so close to having that full band sound. And using this uh, has, like I said, changed everything because not only does it have a processor for your vocals, for a vocal effect, but it's got the harmonizer in there. And it's amazing. And I've tried uh, uh, Digitech, I think, has a harmonizer. It was crap. Everyone I've, I've actually tried, Boss, I think, made one crap. These guys killed it. These guys nailed it. But anyways, this thing here is so bitching because it's not only does it have the processor for vocals, got backup vocals when you just hit that button. You got backups, two-part or three-part harmony when you need them. But it actually has a processor, a really nice, sweet processor in here for your acoustic. So it, it brings your acoustic alive. You know, um, everybody knows, you know, when you play and or, or even record an acoustic, it's, you know, it sounds, you know, okay, but it just doesn't have that color to it that you want, that color that stands out. And, uh, and so this has that. It has three like, like like four or five different acoustics uh sounds in here and it's just so amazing user friendly wise amazing it really isn't that isn't it hard i mean i'm so slow at this kind of stuff like learning how to use boxes and and crap like that i'm just kind of slow that in that area uh, you get me on my DAW system, and I, I've learned that, and I, you know, I know how to produce and do all that stuff, and, and mix and engineer on this thing. But this here, what a game changer this is! So even if you didn't get the Beat Buddy, the first thing you want to get is this guy right here. Get this thing; it's just amazing. And as you can see, it has uh, your in and out uh, guitar and in and out vocals on here. So here's your in. You would plug your guitar in here. Mic goes directly in here, and then you got your outs. So I take these out to my board. Uh, my first channel is my vocal, which is this one, and then guitar is this one. So I take those out and I put them in its own channel for a one and second channel. And then my drums I put in on the third channel. So that's all I'm really running is three tracks on the board, right? And so, um, and then how I mix myself real quick, I just turn one of the speakers around that I'm using, you know, and I, that's another thing I'll get into down the road is what kind of speakers do I use or what I prefer. I've tried them all and uh, I'll tell you about that. But um, y you just turn the speaker around and you just get your, get your ear on and uh, just make sure the drums are there, not too hot. Make sure your guitar is there and not too hot. And I always like to have my vocals on top. Not uh, immensely, but it's got to be on top, and that's what I've noticed. A lot of solo artists, uh, you know, <clears throat> there's so you, they might even be fantastic. They're just great, great. They're just accomplished on the guitar, and they they got a pretty voice, and they sing well. Uh, but you don't really hear their voice, really. You know, you're kind of strained to hear their voice. You're kind of strumming that guitar, and then. Uh, it's just so important in your mix live when you do the gig, and I'll get into that another time as well. But when, if you're starting off, um, just get this thing, just man up and get this thing right here because it'll it'll take your get your your thing over the top, and especially when you kick in those background vocals, people are like, you don't even know how many times people have come up to me going, dude, I could have sworn you were using backing tracks, uh, like. What, what, I go, no, it's just this little box here. It just takes my voice and duplicates it if I wanted a, a third or a, a fifth above or two, or two part harm, three part harmonies. So, yeah, and what's so cool about this is it, it's going to open up the songs you can do. And what I mean by that is like, yeah, you can do a Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young song, uh, you know, uh, but they're known for their vocals, the three-part harmonies. Well, this guy will give you that. It's amazing. And, um, or you want the two-part harmonies for your whatever. And so, yeah, it's just, uh, or if you do the Eagles, do an Eagle song, 
dude, it's like, you got to get this thing or get something. If it's by TC Helicon, you're fine, you're safe. But the only reason why I like this one here, and I, this is the first one that I bought, so you can see that it's chipped there. Like it looks like the porcelain or porcelain paint or, or the uh, powder coating that they probably put on this. All metal, very strong box. Uh, it's been through the dude. I can't even tell you guys, girls. I can't even tell you how many gigs I've done with this. Hundreds. Okay, and I've had it for like four years and still working great. But anyway, so that's it. Um, so yeah, between this, the Beat Buddy, and tuning down a half a step, you really and you've got a decent little mix on your on your system. I mean, it's great. It's it's just awesome. People are just blown away. And uh, yeah, so there's other subjects I want to get on to in, in doing the solo thing and playing at the clubs and stuff like that. And we'll get into that later, uh, but uh, who knows what I'll come up with next week. But you guys, I want to thank so much for hanging out and, um, and letting me share this. And uh, I'm glad you guys enjoy. Uh, I've been getting a lot of positive response on the, on the channel, and it's just awesome. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm just it, it just makes me feel so good when somebody goes oh man I use that similar set, setup and and it's like yeah 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 because you know it's all about the music so I'll, I'll spread the good news of, of peace it gives you peace and it gives you it just it's just a music is a beautiful thing but if you can spread that good news uh, if, you, if we get enough of us doing it it'll change the world man people become nicer and peaceful people without being so separated and all fucked up, you know what I mean? So, anyways, I love you guys. You guys all rock. And um, if there's any questions or something you want to know about specifically, just leave a comment below. Um, and uh, we will talk to you real soon. Take care, you guys.